Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, Shinzo Abe Two Years Later, A Strong and Enduring Legacy. Two years after former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was assassinated, people and politicians from Japan and Taiwan are recalling his legacy and vowing to carry on. I would like to focus on the commentary by Daniel Manning, a staff reporter for Japan Forward. He is also a professional translator and researcher of Japanese history. Now living in Japan, Daniel originally hails from Ireland. On July 8, 2022, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was gunned down in broad daylight during a stump speech in Nara Prefecture. Two years later, this writer still finds it difficult to believe it happened. It was as though the world had momentarily slipped back in time to Sarajevo in June 1914 or Dallas, Texas in November 1963. How could this have happened in Japan, a country largely free from the political radicalism and division that plague so many other countries? Shinzo Abe left behind a legacy. He revitalized Japan's stock market and led the Trans-Pacific Partnership after the United States withdrew. In addition, he implemented reforms to increase foreign investment and corporate transparency in Japan. As Prime Minister, he strove for constitutional reform and to repatriate the Japanese citizens abducted by North Korea. Beyond his reforms and achievements, though, how is he remembered today? How are people honoring the memory of Japan's longest-serving prime minister as the second anniversary of his passing approaches? Some members of Shinzo Abe political party, the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, arranged special events to commemorate his passing. On July 2, a voluntary group of LDP members from Nara Prefecture announced set up a flower offering stand on July 7 and 8. It is located at Mikasa Ryan Cemetery in Nara City, where a memorial monument to Shinzo Abe stands. This year, the group will erect a stone monument honoring Shinzo Abe accomplishments adjacent to the existing structure. Flower offerings are being accepted from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. In July 2023, the group erected the commemorative monument at Mikasa Ryan. The cemetery is situated approximately 5 kilometers from Kintetsu Yamato Seidaiji Station, where Shinzo Abe was assassinated. Measuring approximately 1 meter in width and height, it features a plaque inscribed with the word Fudoshin, unwavering spirit. Fudoshin was a word that inspired Shinzo Abe throughout his life. The group hopes to provide a chance for visitors to quietly reflect on his life and legacy. On June 30, the third memorial service for the late Prime Minister took place at Zozoji Temple in Shiba Park, Tokyo. Zozoji was also the venue for his wake, funeral, and first year memorial service. His wife, Aki Abe, close relatives, and Prime Minister Fumio Kishida were among the attendees. Prime Minister Kishida also participated in other commemorative gatherings in Tokyo. At a Tokyo hotel reception, he reminisced about serving as chairman of the LDP's Policy Research Council under Shinzo Abe's second administration. He also pledged once again to uphold Shinzo Abe legacy. Former Prime Ministers Yoshihide Suga, who served as chief cabinet secretary under Shinzo Abe, and Yoshiro Mori were also present. According to sources, Suga praised Shinzo Abe economic policy, Abenomics, for revitalizing Japan's economy. In addition to traditional services and memorials, Japanese individuals have found unconventional ways to honor the former premier. Japanese comedian Biscotti Sakata, known for impersonating former Shinzo Abe, visited Shinzo Abe hometown of Shimonoseki, Yamaguchi Prefecture, on March 31 and April 1. There, he interacted with local residents and former supporters of Shinzo Abe. Locals greeted Sakata, 
dressed up as Shinzo Abe, with waves while others shared memories and some choked back tears. Sakata's visits to places associated with Shinzo Abe were part of his Shinzo Abe walk project. Following Shinzo Abe assassination, Sakata struggled to come to terms with his emotions and temporarily suspended his impersonation activities. However, after attending the state funeral, he decided to resume his Shinzo Abe impersonations. I decided I really didn't want to forget about Shinzo Abe, he explains. Encouragement from Aki Abe also informed his decision. On March 31st, Sakata visited Shimanaseki City and held gatherings at the multifunctional guesthouse Uzu House and the commercial facility Karado Haret Yokocho. Aki Abe fully endorsed the events. Attendees reminisced about their encounters with Shinzo Abe. Seeing you, brings back memories of shaking hands with him when he was younger, said one person. It's almost like I'm meeting him again, remarked another. It's surreal. Dressed as the former prime minister, Satake entertained participants by mimicking his gestures and mannerisms. The next day, on April 1st, Sataka paid his respects at the Shinzo Abe family grave and declared his intention to continue his Shinzo Abe impersonations to Aki Abe. Although Shinzo Abe gets a lot of negative media coverage, walking through these places makes me realize how much he was loved, Sakata reflected. I sense a desire in people not only to cope with the loss but also to reminisce about who Shinzo Abe really was. His posters might have disappeared. But it's clear that Shinzo Abe still resides in the people of Yamaguchi's and Japan's hearts. On July 7, a memorial service took place at Koenji Temple in Nagato City, Yamaguchi Prefecture. Fourteen supporters gathered for the occasion. The ceremony, organized by the women's division of a former Shinzo Abe support group, began around 10 a.m. Attendees paid their respects by offering incense before his portrait and quietly joining their hands in prayer. However, it is not only Japanese people and politicians who continue to pay their respects to Shinzo Abe. On June 21, approximately 170 Taiwanese legislators and members of the Taiwan Friends of Shinzo Abe Association visited his grave in Nagato City, Yamaguchi Prefecture. Mark Chen, Taiwan's former Minister for Foreign Affairs, chairs the association. Under cloudy skies, they offered flowers at the grave, with some shedding tears as they quietly prayed for Shinzo Abe eternal peace. After the visit, Chen remarked during a luncheon that Shinzo Abe assertion, a Taiwanese contingency is a Japan contingency, had deeply influenced him. He expressed a commitment to nurturing friendly relations between Taiwan and Japan based on mutual understanding during times of adversity. Many Taiwanese individuals and organizations have publicly expressed deep sorrow over Shinzo Abe death. Six months after his assassination, Hongmaoging Baoan Temple in Fengshan District, Kaohsiung, Taiwan, erected a bronze memorial statue in his honor. Crafted by Taiwanese sculptors Cho Ju Ming and Ye Chin Cheng, the lifelike statue stands upon a pedestal engraved with Taiwan's eternal friend, symbolizing Shinzo Abe's significant role in strengthening Taiwan Japan relations. Surrounding the statue is the newly named Garden of Remembrance, adorned with grass and cypress trees donated by a temple supporter. Adjacent to the statue is a painting of Mount Fuji, underscoring cultural ties between Japan and Taiwan. That's all. Shinzo Abe Two Years Later, A Strong and Enduring Legacy, by Daniel Manning, a staff reporter for Japan Forward.